My name's uh, Dana Dunn. I've been in the piercing business for going on six years now. I do typically about 3,000 to 4,000 a year. I work at Pins and Needles Tattoo. We have a website, pinsandneedlesportland.com. Piercing is my life, and I'm gonna talk to you about body piercing. The actual name for a neck piercing is a nape, which is in the back of the neck. Uh, it's a surface piercing that goes in the, the fold of where your neck or your, your back and the uh, crease of your neck actually meet. So it goes with your skin if you decide to, you know, if you're moving around, it actually goes with it. It typically is about an inch long. Again, it's done with a staple. People usually put a, uh, a regular barbell in after once it's healed, just like a regular, like a tongue ring. Um, people can change the, the balls on it and everything like that. Healing is really easy. The most important thing with a uh, nape piercing is uh, making sure it's clean, especially after using shampoo and conditioner in the shower because dyes and perfumes and everything like that can actually cause it to be infected. Uh, so the big thing is just making sure that you clean it really, really well, especially after washing your hair.